of the day. As part of the build-up process of Marine Corps Base Camp Blas, we remain committed to maintaining environmental stewardship of our beautiful island. Feral ungulates, invasive plants, and other introduced species have dramatically changed the island's forest habitats. To help combat this problem, Camp Blas has established its first large-scale native plant nursery aimed at propagating native species for planting in the forest enhancement area. The nursery reached initial operating capacity in March 2019 and will eventually cover an area of 18,000 square feet of propagation area. It currently has 30 different native and endemic plant species represented in the nursery such as fadang, sumac, and wild piper, to name a few, with plans to add more in time. Seeds from various plants are collected across Marine Corps build-up project sites and stored in the nursery for safe guarding. In addition to propagating seed in the nursery, we are also researching seed storage, propagation techniques, and nursery protocols to support forest enhancement efforts and future conservation work around Guam. As part of the marine relocation effort, the Navy has committed to enhancing 1,000 acres of native forest to support a range of native, threatened, and endangered species. The approximately $40 million forest enhancement program has the ambitious goal of transforming hundreds of acres of degraded forest and grasslands into native limestone forest habitat to support the reintroduction of native species. After refining management methodologies within the forest enhancement site, Camp Blas will share lessons learned to improve habitat restoration techniques throughout the island and within the Pacific region. Our conservation work at Marine Corps Base Camp Laws is a point of pride for me uh, because not only does it benefit natural resources, but it provides uh, greater opportunities for many aspiring young Guamanians to apply their skills and talents to protecting uh, endangered species, both plants and animals, as well as re the restoration of habitats. The Marine Corps has made significant investments in partnerships with learning institutions, federal agencies, as well as contractors to stimulate workforce development for our continued environmental mission. We have a world-class natural resources team and I'm very proud of their diligence and expertise in solving the biggest challenges of our conservation program, including meeting our requirements and our biological opinion. Without the, the biological opinion, our construction program wouldn't be able to proceed and make progress and it is critical to the relocation of Marines to Guam.